All right, so as most of you know, when you plug your phone in to your computer and you want to transfer a slow motion file <clears throat> or slow motion video <clears throat> to edit or something, it doesn't show up as slow motion uh, once you drag it off your phone. And there's many reasons for that that I'm not going to get into, but I figured out how to way, I figured out a way to actually transfer it in slow-mo and here's how it's really simple actually so I'll show you my video that's in slow-mo I took the other day all right you can see so all you do is you go to iMovie iPhones used to come with it if they don't if you don't have it anymore. It is five bucks in the app store, I believe, but it's it's a really advanced video editor, honestly. It's worth it. So you create a movie. Then you just select to drag your drop your clip. So I'll drop the video in. And I will show you. Still in slow motion. Okay, so all you do is you click on the clip. And then you actually have to add a text. This text at the bottom. So you click add text. Click standard mode. Then you come up here. And you delete all the sample text. There's three of them. It's kind of annoying. Okay. Press done. And then you press done. So it thinks that it thinks it's a different file now. It thinks it has some kind of edit on it when it really doesn't. Then you go here, you press save. Save video. You can do HD, it won't lose any quality. <clears throat> Goes to your library. So then you go into your library and it's in there. So you just plug your phone into your laptop, which I've already done this step to save time. And I drug it over into a file because I'm creating an edit right now but I'll open up that same video and here it is same quality and in slow motion with no loss of quality and that's how you do that thumbs up the video if you liked it and, and subscribe for more videos